Hi friends. Thank you for joining me for Sunday School today. I am so glad that you are here. Today we're going to talk about Paul. Paul is in the Bible and he loved Jesus so much. And this is the part of the Bible that is after Jesus went back to heaven. Paul loved people and he loved God so much that he wanted to share God's love with everyone. And it turns out everywhere Paul traveled, he kept running across people who wanted to hear all about God's love. Now this made a lot of people happy to hear about God's love, but there were always those people around that they didn't quite understand God. They didn't understand why Paul was telling people about God's love and they wanted to go back to their old ways of, of living. And so they got angry. They got angry with Paul. And do you know what they did? They threw Paul in jail. Now, how would you feel if you were sharing God's love and you were sent to jail? Horrible. Well, don't worry. That's not going to happen to you because they don't throw people in jail in our day and age for telling about God's love. We call that being loving and kind and sharing kindness with others. And no one's going to put you in jail for that. So you don't have to worry. So Paul was in jail and he was not angry. He was not mad and he wasn't complaining. In fact, he, he was Actually, some people say he was filled with joy because he knew that he wasn't alone. He knew that God was with him and that God wouldn't um, hurt him, that God knew what Paul was doing. So he wasn't so angry or grumpy about being where he was. All he knew is that his job was to tell others about God's love. Will you read that story with me? We're going to read from our Spark Story Bible today. Our story is called Paul and the Philippians. You can find this in the Bible in the book of Philippians, chapter one, verses one through 14. Paul and the Philippians. Paul told many people in many places about Jesus. Some people didn't like it. Some, sometimes they locked Paul in jail because they thought he would cause trouble. Even while he was in jail, Paul told people about his story and wrote letters to his friends. Many of Paul's friends lived in Philippi. Because they lived in Philippi, they were called the Philippians. When Paul was in jail, these friends worried about him. How could something bad happen to Paul? Wasn't God with him? Paul sent a letter to the Philippians from jail with some wonderful news. Can you believe it, he wrote? God is working even in here. Paul loved the Philippians. He prayed for them and he encouraged them to trust God in all things. Even in jail, God was with Paul. God promises to be with you too, wherever you are. Where do you see God? Do you see God at home, outside in nature? Do you see God um, at school with your friends? Where do you see God? I see God all around. I see God in the birds and they're singing um, songs. I see God in children, children um, laughing and playing and sharing and being kind to one another. I see God in my family and I'm so thankful that I have such a wonderful place to be. I see God all around me. How do you feel when you get letters in the mail? Do you ever get anything in the mail? Maybe an invitation or a card or um, a birthday um, card. Do you get things in the mail? Well, I just love getting things in the mail because it reminds me that people know me, people love me and want to share with me. How do you think the people in Philippi felt when they received Paul's letters? I think they felt loved and that Paul was not sad and worried. Paul told them that he is good because God is still working. God is still working to share love and kindness with others. For our art activity, I thought we could make a poster for our walls or our doors, or maybe you can even mail it to somebody to remind them that you are loved. I put on mine, God loves me. And you might not be able to see it because I chose markers that didn't show up very well on orange paper, but orange paper is the color that I had. 
but I decorated um, with some different colors and I'm going to hang this up so I can remember that God is with me. I might be in a place that is not um, the best place, like Paul was in jail. I don't expect to be in jail, so I'm not super worried about that. But maybe I am um, in my car and I'm driving at night and I don't feel good and maybe I can remember God is with me. I am with God. I'm not alone. Maybe you'll, you're at school and something is hard. Have you ever had hard lessons in school? You can remember that God is with you and that you are not alone. Well, have fun decorating your activity and I hope to see you soon and thank you for joining me, my friends. Bye-bye.